Welcome to this edition of Crytom Tech Lab. One of the most common questions we receive through Crytom Tech Support is, how does one perform a simple operational on-off test on a solid state relay? We will demonstrate such a test here today. Unlike electromechanical relays that can be giving a basic test with a continuity checker or ohmmeter, solid state relays, SSRs, require a minimum amount of load current to switch. Testing with a meter does not present enough of a load on the SSR to allow it to turn on, and there is no mechanical contact closure within to show continuity on the meter. Additionally, since an SSR is by definition a relay with no moving parts, there is no audible click to provide confirmation that the input is actuating the output. All of that being said, the basic setup and operational bench testing of an SSR is quite simple. Note that line voltage will be present during this test on various terminals, so be careful. For this demonstration, we'll be testing a Crydon D2450. This is a DC input, 240 volt, 50 amp AC output SSR. Since this particular relay output is usable on AC line voltages from 24 to 280 volts AC, and requires only a minimum load current of 40 milliamps, using a standard 25 watt lamp and a 120 volt source is perfectly adequate. The wiring is quite simple. Here are the connections. One side of the 120 volt AC line goes to one of the SSR output terminals. It doesn't matter which, either number one or number two. The other side of the solid state relay goes to one side of the load, and the other side of the load comes back to the other remaining AC line connection. For testing purposes, there is no particular attention needed for hot or neutral connections. A solid state relay will switch either leg. The last item needed is the input power signal. With a 3 to 32 volt DC input SSR, such as the Crytom D2450, a single good 9 volt battery is a convenient input source. Just be sure to observe the polarity. The plus of the 9 volt battery needs to go to the plus terminal number 3 of the relay input. If the SSR to be tested is an AC input type rather than a DC input as this is, the input signal would of course need to be the appropriate voltage. The first test step is to simply apply the line voltage while observing the lamp. With the D2450 being a normally open relay, the lamp should remain off when power is first applied. If the lamp is on at this step, then the output of the SSR is shorted and therefore bad. If the lamp is off, the next step is to see if the output will switch on when the input is applied. By touching the 9 volt battery terminals to the input terminals of the relay, the lamp should come on if the SSR is good. Removing and applying the battery should correspondingly flash the lamp on and off. As seen here, this solid state relay passes the basic operational test. There are many more detailed tests that are performed on SSRs at the factory during production but a simple bench test performed as shown provides a quick indication of SSR operation. We hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching this edition of Crydom Tech Lab.